Hello and welcome to Watch Me Movie. My name is Ryan and today we are watching Rocky for the first time. I know I have not seen Rocky. The, th the few things that I do know about Rocky, it's about a boxer, Sylvester Stallone, I know the few iconic lines that have been parodied a lot, the training montage and stuff like that, but I've never sat and watched the film. So yeah, uh, I'm not going to ramble on, let's just get straight on with it. Thanks to the two executive producers for this month, which are Braden and Juan and the rest of the patrons for the continued support. And with all that said, let's get on with Rocky. Big man. It's a good way to start for film. Establishing shot of uh, Jesus and then straight in... Uh, a boxing round. Rock, I bet the fight don't go three rounds. You feel strong? Come here. Hey, oh, hey, oh. Dirty. Not actually boxing in a boxing match, but the first, the first time I did boxing training, I, I pretty much collapsed. Um, on the second sparring round from exhaustion. Stallion, stallion. Yeah, forty dollars. That's fifteen dollars. Locker and corner, man. Five dollars shower and towel. Seven percent tax. Come to seventeen twenty. Jeez. Percent tax comes to forty fifty five. Forty dollars. These credits been going the whole time. Have they just kicked back in? A voice on him. I was just thinking about the cinematography. I've got some nice little bits like this lingering shot and stuff where it feels, um, what's the word? Not indie, but uh, it's like a raw type of feeling for it um, in a good way. I suppose it's just the era as well. But these shots are nice. Look at this. Hey. Really simple little camera move there as well. You want to see your friend Moby Dick, huh? Hey, you doing, Moby Dick? You miss me today or what? One more sent to flies. You want fly? One more sent. Well, who the hell cares? What? <laughs> Can't remember what that last song was sampled on. That I would have in a playlist. Hey, how you doing, killer? You know, the last turtle food I got here had more moss in it than flight. You know what I mean? Right? I gotta smack them on the back of the show. What do you think they get? Look at your shift shot. What do you think? They're starting with the bad jokes early, huh? It's really nice colors. It looks like um, some like 90s photography, film photography. Wonder if I could pull off that look. Hey, you. Where are you going? Huh? Where you run? Where you run? Not the face! The guy's the one's the 200 now. Yeah? I'm broke! I want rockers in her. I ain't emotionally involved, Bob. You understand? <laughs> Give me some money. You don't have to break nothing. Here, take my coat. God, I don't want you to ask another to keep your coat. Doing a bit of collecting. That's it for today. Sweet. How'd you do last night? I did real good. Did you get the license number? Of what? The truck that ran over your face. That's aggressive. How come you didn't break this guy's thumb like I told you? Well, how do you know I didn't break? You don't think I hear things? I think if I break the guy's thumb, he gets laid off, right? He can't make. Yeah, well, don't money. figure. Let me do the figuring, okay, Rock? Yeah, I won't let that happen no more. About the thumb. <laughs> so long, meatbag. This guy's problem. I should have broke your thumb. The story and the script is good so far as well because. It's drip feeding you the information about Rocky and who he is and stuff, what his values are. Who stuff is this in my lock? Stepper stuff. I've been in that locker for six years and you put my stuff in a bag on Skid Row? Stallone's um, acting really works for this role as well. It works for the character he's portraying. What 
What's your problem? My problem is I've been talking to your man, Mike. I want to know how come I've been put out of my lot. Let's face it, I run a business here, not a goddamn soup kitchen. You got heart, but you fight like a goddamn ape. You ever think about retiring? No. You think about it. Yeah. There's a good game down to the Spectrum tonight. Tough day today, you know, they took my locker away. Huh. Doesn't matter, who cares, you know? You need somebody to walk you home, you know? Hmm? No. No? All right, listen, I'm gonna go now, okay? Listen, I'll see you later, all right? I wanna go home, make up a joke. I'm gonna tell you a new joke tomorrow, okay? Good night, Adrian. Good night, Robbie. Smooth guy. Bless him. I looked away for a second. Hey, there, lefty. Hey, yo, Paul. Every day, every night, I pass by you. Sisters give me the shoulder, you know what I mean? I need a Cadillac to connect with your sister. Something wrong with my face, you know what I mean? I could split her head with a razor. Oh, don't get mental, man, you know. Well, you caught me in a bad mood. You're always in a bad mood. Some mental mood. But you don't watch out, you're going to end up dying alone. I'm 30 myself. And you're going to end up dying hey, alone. Hey, I don't see no crowd around you, neither. Hey, my sister, if she don't start living, her body's going to dry up. You take a look at that guy. The heavy Apollo Creed will duplicate the cracking of the Liberty Bell by cracking Mac Lee Green. Okay. You call Apollo Creed a clown? What shot did you ever take? Well, I... Want me to take a shot? All right. I'll take a shot. Come on, you're a hard Come on, just a little bit. Come on, you're a hard 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 Come on, you're a Oh, uh, the f the filmmaking is what's got me really engrossed, but I'd really like the script as well. I wasn't expecting to. Twenty years from now, twenty years from now, people are gonna say, "Hey, you remember Marie? No, who's she?" Uh but I'm just watching these long walking shots and really enjoying them. Why don't you think you have a boyfriend? Because you're hanging out with them coconuts in the corner. You understand? <laughs> I'm just gonna berate her all the way home. Yo yo, people give yo yo. Hey, Rocky. Yo. Screw you, creepo. Thanks again, mate. Kinda does look a bit like a creepo doing that in the shadows by himself. Says here, Mackley Green has suffered a severely cracked third metacarpal in his left hand. Without a ranked contender, what this fight is going to need is a novelty. This is the land of opportunity, right? And there's nothing they'd like better than to see Apollo Creed give a local Philadelphia boy a shot at the greatest title in the world on this country's biggest birthday. The, um, the rooting for the underdog thing. This is very smart. This looks like an English street. How's this girl you're going out with tomorrow night? I'm going out with Paulie's sister. <laughs> hey, Rob, take her to the zoo. I hear retards like the zoo. Hey, this bum gotta say that. Every, everything out of this guy's mouth. I don't like your face. I don't like your zeeds. Kiss my ass. Come off your shoulders, Al. Come on, relax, relax, relax. I hope he gets it. I want to see his come on, pants. This is what I'm looking for. The Italian stallion. I don't want you messing around with South Pole, man. You do everything bad. South for nothing. I've dropped him in three. You sure your sister knows I'm coming, right? We're very excited. Feeling she's not going to know that it's coming. Yo, how you doing? I told you she's very excited. Hey! Hey! Tired of you being a loose. Don't call me that, Paulie. It's Thanksgiving. I got a turkey in the oven. Oh, a turkey in the oven. You want the bird? Go in the alley and eat the bird. Oh. Jeez. Leave her be. You hungry, Rock? Is that cooked? Yo, Adrian, it's me, Rocky. I don't know what to say, because I ain't never talked to no door before, you know? So I say to a door, hey, listen, I need a Keep doing what you're doing. It's funny. I know all about these things. Oh, this rail's smooth. It's demonstrated that already. I'm going to have a good time. In there. I don't want no turkey anyway, you know. I probably spent hours cooking it. Yo! Yo! We're closed! What? This girl here ain't feeling well. You know, a doctor says she should go out and exercise once in a while, and ice skating's probably the best thing, you know what I mean? 
Yeah, so what do you want from me? Can you guess? 10 minutes, 10 bucks. Like when I was like 15, everyone used to go ice skating in my city because it was one of the only things to do. Look at that. Oh! No, no, no. <laughs> hey, wait, hey. Look, push the button. Bong. Put the charmer. Uh, come on, you having a good time? <laughs> Woo! You know how I got started in fighting? My father, he's, uh, he says to me, you weren't born much of a brain, you know, so uh, you better start using your body. My mother, she said, said you weren't born much of a body, so you better develop your brain. Why do you want to fight? Because I can't sing or dance. Ew, yo. <laughs> so they compliment each other well because he never stops talking. She doesn't talk. You know, some people think that being shy is a disease, you know, but it don't bother me now. I think we make a real sharp couple of coconuts. I'm dumb and you're shy. What do you think, huh? Look at his face. 64 fights. Look at that nose. Hey, you want to come inside? Come on no, in. No, no, I got to go. Come on. Come on in. Hot in here, you know? So remember you were working at that pet shop? Yeah, I remember that. I came in, I bought this bowl, marbles that go on the bottom there. Remember that mountain? I had to get rid of that mountain, though, because they kept falling over and flipping. Yeah. There's big bugs in there, you know. It's safer over here. Is this you? Well, that's the Italian style when he was a baby. Why don't you come on over and make yourself comfortable? Relax. Creepo. There's big bugs in there. Why don't you come make yourself comfortable? Who'd you want to call? I want to let my brother know where I am. It's probably a good idea. <laughs> well, I'll call your brother. That's the problem. Yo, Paulie, your sister's with me. I'll call you back later. What's the matter? You don't like the room, do you? What's the problem? You don't like me? I don't think I belong here. It's okay. I'm not sure I know you well enough. I don't feel comfortable. Please, don't, don't go. Don't go. Oh, God. Don't go. You take off these vests. Do me another thing. You don't have to kiss me back if you don't want. Well, it all worked out in the end. She goes to show you, just keep pressuring <laughs> until you get your own way. I'm joking. Hey, you got something for me? They need sparring partners for Apollo Creed. They'll probably look for sparring partners for Creed, you know? I said that before, you dumb dango! <laughs> Six years you've been sticking it to me. I want to know how come. You want to know? I want to know how! Because you had the talent to become a good fighter. You became a leg breaker. It's a waste of life. Oh, you must be Mr. Rocky Balboa. Mr. Jurgens expecting you. How are you? George Jurgens. Would you be interested in fighting Apollo Creed for the World Heavyweight Championship? I fight in clubs, you know. I'm really a ham and egg. This guy, he's the best, and uh, it wouldn't be such a good fight for it's the chance of a lifetime. You can't pass it by. Yeah. You mean? Come here, Rock. My main man. Now your payday will be one hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Any comment? No, I just want to say hi to my girlfriend, okay? Uh, yeah. Yo, Adrian. It's me, Rocky. Look at this. <laughs> you believe all this? Look at a microphone. Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you'd be looking for people to help you out. Keep you living a clean life. Hey, yo, Paul, who cared about me yesterday, huh? Nobody. So uh, I just think I'm going to train myself, you know? I seen your light and I come in. You get a shot at the title. Yeah, proof luck is a strange thing. Yeah, it sure is. I'm here to warn you that you got to be very careful about this shot that you got at the title. Well, what you need is a manager. I want to give you this knowledge. I want to take care of you. I want to make sure that all this shit that happened to me doesn't happen to you. Fight said I don't need no match. I need your help about 10 years ago, right? 10 years ago? Mm. You never helped me none. Everyone's really cynical around him. The world is quite cynical. And now that it's being broadcast that he's getting this big payday, people are ready to leech off him and stuff. I'm wondering whether it's to reinforce the fact that, you know, he's going against all odds and um, everyone else's expectations, or whether they're going to have character progression and come good in the end for him. That's a beautiful shot. 
Oh, nice timing with that train as well. But yeah, this I've been a lot more engrossed than I expected in this film. I've really been enjoying it. Uh, I have done it before. I think it's the you know the film quality and stuff, but the colours are really beautiful and the same way that like Taxi Driver looks and what was this seventy six this film? But yeah, I love the colours. So. It's a little cold in here, ain't it? Yeah. Uh, you and my sister. How are you getting along together? You really like her? Sure, I like. Her. I don't see it. What's the attraction? It could be mind, man. She's got gaps, I got gaps. Together we fill gaps. I don't know. Fall in her. Hey, you don't talk dirty about your sister. You screw screwing my sister. You know, you just talk too much. Get out of here! We do that to Apollo Creed, they'll put us in jail for murder. You know, your brother's a good man, but he's awful pushy, you know? You want me to rub you down? No, no I'm just, I'm just so, okay. Hey, hey, come on, no fooling around, right? Adrian's insatiable nowadays. Yeah, I'm sure. Listen, why don't you just make the meat, okay? It's okay. I'm oh, sorry. Hey. Hold it, Rock! Will you take this string tied to both angles, leave about two feet of slack? Here's the idea that if you can move and you can hit without breaking the string, you can balance. Hey, Rock. What? How about you give us your other Get out of here! <laughs> Women weaken legs. Women weaken legs, huh? <laughs> Yo, you look great. I got, I got another surprise for you. To keep you company when you run. Oh, 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 oh. They're not going to break up with her now, is it? <laughs> What's that, Burgess, huh? Who's truck is this? Bit of a clue on the side there, but never mind. Don't do these things to me. You should have called me up. My sister really likes you. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you. Jesus Christ. Rocky Balboa. Listen, we want to get a brief interview. Today we're here with heavyweight challenger Rocky Balboa. Greek guy sticking his face in. Let's try it again, Rocky. I mean, do other fighters pound raw meat? No, I think I invented it. Hey, champ. You ought to come look at this boy you're gonna fight on TV. Hey, Shirley, you got any more coffee out there? Oh, it's a shine. Um, the dedication of Rocky's training compared to Apollo's. Diana Lewis in the meat house with South Paul Rocky Balboa. And this boy keeps asking me for a job all the time, but he don't know nothing about fighting. I don't want nothing from you. Get out of my house. It's not just your house. Oh, no way. Huh? I'll break both your arms so they don't work for you. Jesus, what? That's right. Everyone's off the red. When I go and get your meat every morning, you forgot that night I even give you my sister too. God, you Everyone's unhinged in Rocky's life. Why do I owe you, Bolly? Why do I owe you? Go bust it. What? Oh, You're not a virgin. She's not a your friend. She's dusted. Tis the season to be jolly. La 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 la. Yeah. You can't live with people like Paulie. You're gonna eat lightning and you're gonna crap thunder. You're right. Uh, I figured some man gonna make some money off your name. Hey, you can make money off my name, make it, okay? Kill him. Just really in shape for this film, I guess. Can't fake that. <laughs> it's the first time I've seen the actual um, montage and the, the parodies don't do it justice. I will say, I think for this film, um, it was like the you know the parodies and the well-known parts of this film. That probably put me off watching it um, up until now. You know, like I thought I knew what it was about. I thought I knew what kind of film it would be just from the little bits I knew about it. I didn't think this that it'd be this pleasing to um, to the filmmaking part of me when I watched it.
I thought I'd have to put all that aside to enjoy it, but that's like the main thing that I am enjoying about it is the way that it's made, the way that it's shot, especially. Rocky, what brings you here tonight? Try to get some rest, kid. Good night. I can't beat him. I mean, who am I kidding? I ain't even in the guy's league. It really don't matter if this guy opens my head or you. All I want to do is go to distance. See, and that bell rings, and I'm still standing. I want to know for the first time in my life that I weren't just another bum from the neighborhood. No, you're looking very great today, you know that? Uh, don't you leave town, huh? Good luck. Don't leave town. Rocky Balboa climbing into the ring now. <laughs> the world champion. Apollo Creed is doing an invitation to George Washington. Uncle Sam and himself. All right of you! All of you! Is he talking to me? He's talking to you. Is he talking to me? Let him talk when he can talk. I realised that bar setups like that are probably pretty similar, but that just looked like the um, the Truman Show one. Healthy before you know the rules. You have no low blows. Watch your heads, no button. Shake hands now. Come up. I like that. Pulling the microphone up next to the camera. And I like how uh, Rock is acting throughout this whole interaction. Like he's still a bit starstruck. It's cool, it's realistic. And there's the bell for round one. Stinging the slower challenger of Jan. He's trying to make his man make the first move. See, make a miss like that. Oh, I, I don't believe it! Hey. Creed is down! What a surprise this is! Okay. Now Rocky coming back out. <laughs> All right, now the champion's coming back. The mother right combinations into the face. And that's the Apollo we know. Oh, yeah, Rocky's coming back now. <laughs> It's really interesting the way they filmed it. <laughs> Not just um, random shots of like them throwing punches with audio dubbed over the top. It's actual planned shots and choreography to go with the dialogue. But they've, they've not cut in closer to emphasise it and stuff. They've kept it at that distance like uh, a sports camera. And I think that's a really um, smart decision direction-wise. The body, the body, you're doing great. Oh, Balboa's taking a tremendous beating here. Stop playing around in a group of people shot for the fight. Balboa trying to fight back. Oh, he tagged the champion with a tremendous hook. He's the champion right out. Back to your corner. Put that trump back in his corner. Back to your corner. I'm okay, I'm okay. I'm gonna stop the fight. Hey, you you stop the fight. Nothing, you stop this fight, I'll kill you. Uh, the 15th and final round. Audio and everything's so good. Oh, he's going for the neck. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Be no rematch. Don't want one. And Thor, what are you thinking about when that buzzer's on uh, for that line? Adrian! What do you think about when the 15th round when you're coming out? Adrian! Rocky! Adrian! My life. Adrian! 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 Okay, and that was Rocky. I am so um, pleasantly surprised by that film. I wasn't expecting to like it as much as I did do. And, um, uh, well, uh, uh, for, for a number of reasons. One, because it's a really popular film, um, and I just tend to avoid them, which is why I've pretty much why I've, I've got this channel with so many films that I haven't seen before. Two, it's a film, a film about um, sports, and I'm not really into sports. It, I suppose if any sport I have done in my life, it has been a tiny bit of boxing training and um, 
and that's about it. The only f sports I used to watch were boxing, but this was like years and years ago. Um, and I used to watch a bit of rally as well. But um, so yeah, I wasn't expecting to like this film anywhere near as much as I did do. Well, I think the appearance of uh, this film from the outside when you haven't seen it gives the appearance of it's a film about sport because it's about a boxer. But it's it's really not. It's um, a very well-written story about uh, a man's journey and um, the underdog's journey and him overcoming personal obstacles. And I think, I think the personal um, triumph was the most important thing for him in this. This is probably a really obvious thing to people who've seen this film multiple times, but um, on my first viewing, like it showed like how dedicated he was to accomplishing a, a sort of target that he set for himself of going the distance and just proving that to himself. Um, he had pretty much all the people that were in his life over the Nadrian um, were cynical and you know, um, not very supportive until they thought they were going to get something out of it. Uh, which, and that theme continued right up until the end. And I think them being in the scripts served to emphasize the, um, the strength of Rocky's character, you know, um, overcoming their doubts and getting past how much they're trying to leech off him and all that sort of thing. And just, um, carrying on and sticking to his goals, sticking to what he plan to do and uh achieving it regardless of what they do like he's not trying to get the better of them or anything like that he's just like i'm gonna do what i'm doing if you want to make money off my name then you know f f be my guest if you feel like i owe you something but this is what i'm doing and then when he finally did it um i mean he lost on decision but he didn't care by that point. It was like he didn't even hear the result. He didn't. He wasn't interested in that. He wasn't interested in doing the the news interviews afterwards. It was like he would achieved his goal, and um, he just wanted Adrian. Then he just wanted to be um, with her. There was lots of really nice uh, metaphor and and stuff symbolism within the script and the cinematography and. I just really appreciated this from a filmmaker's point of view and I, I wasn't expecting to at all. Yeah, I'm shocked at how much I enjoyed this. I can't think of uh, much else to say of value right now. I'm just sort of um, left soaking it in. But yeah, this was a really good watch. Um, and thank you for recommending it. Yeah, I guess that's it for today. So with all that said, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.